Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading, Their True View About You. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. If you would like a personal reading, personal readings are now offered to you for 50% off. The link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hi, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. Their true view about you. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, personal readings are now offered to you for 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I clearly see here your energy is drawn to this card. I love this card because of the pink flowers and the pink butterflies. Did you know that they, there's a such thing as pink butterflies for real? Like they're rare, but they really do exist. And I love how you know, she's in a state of like, really like contemplation. Let's see what your card does say. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Ooh. So I feel, you know, what I'm picking up from the energy of this person is that they see you as someone like, someone that has like a really giving heart. You know, you will do, you will go above and beyond for the person that you love, the person that you care about. You're going to give your all. You have that loyalty, you know what I'm saying? That loyalty of the planet Venus. True love, you have that beauty, the inner beauty, the outer beauty. So they see both. They see your attractiveness, how beautiful you are on the outside, and your beautiful heart. So with Venus coming through, you have Taurus. And you have Libra because Venus does rule over that wonderful earth sign of Taurus, which is loyalty and being very grounded. And Libra, very observant, very social. So that is the energy that I'm picking up. So let's get more insight. I feel like they view you as a real one. You know what I mean? And they do not want the real one to get away. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does come through? And you have here the Seven of Cups. Look at the Seven of Cups. This is about feelings and emotions. Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. The Seven of Cups is a clear message that um, this person does have commitment issues. They have commitment issues, meaning that they can't stick with one thing at one time. Even like, even if it's their relationships, whether it be like platonic relationships or romantic connection, or even like their career or, you know, something they have to do, they have a problem with sticking with their commitment. So also what I'm picking up is that they see you as like the prize. They see you as the prize. They see you as someone that has options that you don't have to settle for this person and they know it. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. You have here, look at seven, with the number seven, the seventh house. The seventh house rules over Libra and Spirit just gave us that insight moments earlier about Libra coming through. This is, this is about marriage and a partnership with the seventh house coming through here. This person sees you as wifey material, a very loyal partner, and Spirit did just give us that insight. So just starting out, number one, your reading is starting out really extremely accurate, okay? And I'm so curious as to how it would continue to go. This is about a partnership, a marriage. They see you in this way. The number seven is significant either in your birthday, birth month, or birth year, or theirs as a confirmation in the reading. Yeah, so best friends type of type of energy here coming through as well. You're very loyal type person. They see you as being socially aware. So although you have this very loving heart, very warm and generous, you're socially aware. You know whether or not this person is faking or telling you the truth. You can read this person. You can read a room. You know what's up. You know if someone likes you or dislikes you. 
So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy that is coming through? And you have here the sea turtle protection. So yes, this person does feel like you are protecting your energy, and you are. You do have those healthy, consistent, and persistent boundaries in place, and that's a good thing. And so you always want to put yourself first. Spirit is giving a clear message here that you're on the right path of self care because that's self-mastery. And uh, what you're working on now is really aligning with that greater version of who you are. So you're doing the right thing with really optimizing your self-confidence, your self-love, self-assurance, and your self-respect. And you're protecting your energy. You have your hand out to this person's face metaphorically. And you're like, not now, not today, not ever. And so that's what this person feels. So I can definitely see that you're the master here of finding life's flow with the sea turtle protection energy. So be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. This is a clear message coming through here from Spirit. Preserve and you will succeed. So take your time. Continue to move forward. Take steps every day. And, you know, even taking baby steps. If you take baby steps, you can reach the top of Mount Everest metaphorically. So just continue to move forward, take action every day on becoming that greater version of who you want to be because you have everything you need to be protected and happy. There's a clear message coming through here for you from spirit. You're guided, you are loved, you are protected. The kingdom of heaven is within you and you know it is. You are aligned with the source. The source is courage and that greater version of who you are keeping those persistent and consistent boundaries in place. This person definitely is in their feelings about that energy that you hold right now. They don't know what to think. They are definitely worried about the future. And you have here the pilgrim. <laughs> so look at the journey. Look at the path. Okay. They're worried. They're concerned about the path of this relationship what is it going to be like in the future? Will you stay connected with them? What will you actually do? You know what I'm saying? But with the pilgrim coming out, this is a nice confirmation with the sea turtle energy that did come through about you protecting your energy. And this person knows this and staying on your path, even if you have to go slow. You're not in a rush. This person also is, I feel like is in competition with you in some way, loves to trigger you, loves to send out messages to you, um, even if they're like subliminal messages. This person does sin, so they do trigger you and frustrate you. So Spirit is wanting you to see that when this person does this, this is something that is deeply rooted within them. And so do not take this energy personally. Because this is something that's deeply rooted with them. As a matter of fact, send this person lots of love and white sparkly light. So that you'll always vibrate on a high vibrational frequency. So that you can allow the things that your heart truly really desires to manifest. You don't want to get on a low vibrational energetic level with this person. Because you'll manifest other people, other circumstances, and conditions that are just like this energy. You have here the world. So with the world card, I can see here this is about travel. Pilgrim and the world is in correlation with each other. I love the fact that the energy is aligning the way that it is. It's a clear confirmation and validation from spirit answering your questions the way that um, you need to be told. So here with the world card, this person sees you as someone that will travel the world. You may have discussed somewhere you want to go. It's a beautiful place or somewhere you want to travel. So they're thinking about your travel plans. They're also thinking about could they travel with you or can they travel towards you? I feel like they definitely want to come towards you. I see that this person views you as someone that can be successful. You are one that will complete your goals no matter what. Even if you have to take baby steps and go slow, you will complete your goals. And they see this in you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is the energy as it does relate? What is the energy 
And you have here the Messiah. So the Messiah energy is about you serving humanity with humility. So this is your final card of the read. And so it started out just like your first card here. So you're very humble. This person sees you as being humble. But at the same time, you're very strong. The Messiah, Jesus, was very humble. and But yet, and still very strong. And some of the stories that they have about Jesus are totally wrong. The, they, there's a message in the Bible that mentions Jesus saying, turn the other cheek. That doesn't mean that Jesus allowed someone to punch him and he turned the other cheek. No, that's misread, misunderstood. It simply means that if someone is serving you something that is not compatible with your involvement and your happiness and your spiritual growth, then you are to walk away. And to walk away is pure strength. It is pure power. So when this person is sending you this negative energy or this negative connotation, just send them back lots of light and white sparkly love. That is considered strength. Okay, and so if they see you as being, they view you as being very strong because you are humble. You stay quiet. They view it as strength. If they are vulturous and wanting to control and wanting to be the center of attention and very just loud, that is a sign that they are operating from a form of insecurity. So bless this person. That is your answer there. Beautiful number one. This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. Their true view about you. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, I am now offering my personal readings to you for 50% off. And the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. You're naturally drawn here to your card. I love this card because she looks so beautiful, so patient, so serene and focused. And it says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Mm. What I'm picking up about this person is that I feel like this person views you as moving on. Moving on, connecting more with yourself, putting yourself first, not giving everything to this person. Now, this energy is also reflecting how this person feels about themselves. I feel like they compare themselves to you in so many ways. I feel like there's definitely some sort of envy based on your personality and characteristic traits. So let's get more insight and clarification. And you have here the King of Swords. Well, with the King of Swords energy, this is about communication and the intellect. So they see you as being very smart and very socially aware. You know if this person is being real or fake. The air energy in the swords represents Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements of their chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. I'm picking up here with the King of Swords energy that this person sees you as someone that is very intentional. You have the position to lead a company and they know this. You are very strategic. You are very strategic with your thoughts and the way that you move. And they notice about you. So that's why they can't fool you. They can't come to you lying and playing games, you know, being like all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Because you can read it and they don't like it. So let's get more insight. I can read their energy. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit, child, nature. With the child and nature energy, you know what? One thing that they do admire about you is your friendship with animals and a communication with nature that you have. You have this natural love for nature, for animals, for the creation of, you know, of the universe. Things that Source has created, you truly understand it. You know what I'm saying? This person, and I told you I would not leave anything out. I told you, I'm not. 
They have the ten tendency to kind of like neglect their animals, you know, people and the environment. So that is a characteristic trait you notice about them. And so let's get more insight here. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And you have here the bison, abundance. Honey, this is how they see you as being extremely abundant in nature. You're the sacred buffalo, you know, and the universe has cloaked you with wisdom, keeping you warm through the storms of life. You're guided, you're loved, you're protected. They know this about you. Your life is filled with goodness. That's something that they recognize and see. Hmm. You know why? You know why? Because you're touched with the energy and the spirit of gratitude and prayer. You know to be grateful for every single thing, right? And you know that prayer does work. So spirit is letting you know that spirit sees and knows that you are definitely on the path of light. You love being on the journey of self-mastery. You know what I'm saying? Self-love, self-assurance, self-respect, and unconditional love, even for this person. You want the good for them. You want the best for them, no matter if they're jealous of you or if they, you know, don't want it for you. You know that it's always the best in best interest to see people through the eyes of source, through the eyes of love. Now, they know you're not a pushover. They know they better not, they can't play with you because you're going to walk away. You're just going to totally dismiss them and cut them off and act like that they never existed. That's something they know as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what is the energy as it does relate? You have here the Two of Wands. So with the Two of Wands, energy, this is fire. This is passion. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, top placements of their chart, yours as well. This is about plans, partnerships, and influence. And this is about creativity. So I'm also getting a message here that's coming through quite strong and clear that you can be a social media influencer quite easily with something that you do that you have a natural gift, you know, a natural ability. As it relates to this person, they see you in this way as well. I feel like with the two of wands, this is like they are waiting, you know, for results from you and waiting for you to make a choice with the relationship. I feel like Travel plans are coming through quite clear with the two of wands here. Travel plans are coming quite coming clear. So if you if you if you are wanting to travel somewhere, keep keep in mind that um, this person may want to go with you, but keep in mind that your travels will be happy and safe travels. So go ahead and plan your itinerary, and you know only take with you. Pack very light. Take one piece of luggage. Just so you're not, you know, overloaded with clothing and things. You can really concentrate on your trip. I, I definitely see a trip coming here for you. And this person thinking about you traveling and you evolving and you growing. Your glow up is something that's consistently on their mind. You have here the planet Venus, the planet of beauty and love. And with the planet, planet Venus coming through, the planet Venus rules over Taurus and Libra. So this energy is significant in the top placements of their chart or yours as a confirmation. So they definitely see you as a very beautiful person inside and out. Very harmonious. They recognize this romantic vibe about you comes through quite clear, quite charming, easily receiving people really easily like you. But on the other flip side of that, <laughs> there's a low vibrational group of people that are jealous because you are very nice and you are very beautiful. 
But let me tell you something, honey. Don't change yourself for no one. Don't dim your light. Continue to being that kind, pleasant, beautiful person, you know, without being a pushover. And there's also a clear message coming through here. Don't tell people too much information about you. You know, like your personal life and things. Keep that stuff quiet and to yourself. Even if they ask about your last relationship, don't go into detail. Just say, you know, um, we broke up because of, you know, just say like we were making each other miserable. Right? Don't go into detail about what he did or what she did or what they did and this and that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Even with friendships, because people tend to take your kindness and your openness for weakness, and they tend to turn that stuff against you. They talk about you. They gossip. They make up stuff that you didn't even tell them. They will exaggerate things about you. And no, we don't care what people say about you. You shouldn't ever care, but at the same time, keep your power to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So just say, you know, it just wasn't a match. We were, we were incompatible. You can say that. You don't even have to say we were making each other miserable. You don't even have to say that. You could just say, you know, we were just incompatible. We just, we weren't compatible. We had different views, you know, and leave it at that. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Honey, you're beautiful. This person finds you extremely attractive. Extremely attractive. And there's definitely some envy there. Because you're not only beautiful on the outside. You look a lot younger than your age. And you have a free spirit. You, you want the best for everyone. Including this person. And you're just very fun. Lighthearted. Generous. And they don't like that. But it's okay. Just be yourself. Never did me like the dead end. <laughs> well, there you go. So this person feels like they have run out of times to play with you, manipulate you, control you. It That's it. No more. You're not giving them any more of your energy. Period. When it comes to believing in them. Yeah, if they send a text, you'll send a text back. Blessings. Blessings. Just simply blessings. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to, you know, or you'll block if you're not feeling receiving that energy. But they know not to play with you because you will cut them off completely. Absolutely. They have run out of excuses, chances, and times to betray you or play with you. That's it. And it's because you've tapped into that greater version of who you are. You're evolving because of the pain that you went through, because of the struggle. So bless that energy as well. Appreciate that energy because of the struggle and the pain. It has allowed you to love yourself. And so there's the blessings. Send this person lots of love, white sparkly light, and forgiveness. And beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. Their true view about you. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, I offer my personal readings to you now for 50% off. The link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here your energy is drawn to this magnificent, beautiful card. I love this card. I love how she is so beautiful and she is just so, <laughs> she's focused. She's focused. And I love the blue flowers and the blue butterfly. It says reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So this is a clear message coming through here. This energy is giving me someone that really sees you as a person that's going to weigh the situation over the relationship. You're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. You know, you're going to look at yourself, hold yourself accountable for your actions, and you're going to hold that person accountable for their actions as well. 
So you're fair. And so with the fair energy coming through, I'm picking up Libra. With Libra, that's the scales of justice. So Libra is significant in the top placements of their birth chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. And let's get more. And you have here victim. So with the victim energy, this presents, it prevents, it prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. Okay. Now there's more energy coming through here. And I told you, I would not leave anything out. This person does. They have the, the energy sometimes of playing the victim for positive feedback, you know, in the form of pity or the inability to, you know, maintain their personal boundaries. They want you to feel sorry for them. And they do certain things or say certain things in order to get this reaction out of you. So let's get more insight. You have here strength. Or with the strength card, they see you as being very strong. They know you tapped into your self-confidence. You know, that self-assurance, self-love, self-respect. They know that you're tapped in. You're very strong here with the strength card. And with the strength card, there's Leo. So Leo definitely plays a big part in the energy. Um, Leo also is the has that like playful energy. So they see you as being, you know, a very playful person in, in nature. But you don't like to be played with. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with you when it comes to your heart. When it comes because you're sincere when if you love this person, you know, if you are giving your all, you want that energy returned. So let's get more. The agape. So with the agape energies again, this is like balance. This is balance. Temperance energy is coming through. They realize you have taking your control back, taking your power back, not giving out so much of your energy to this relationship because you're not getting back the same thing. The law of reciprocity is not active here. What you're giving out to them, they are not giving back to you. You're giving attention. You're not getting the same attention. You know, you're giving something physical. You're not receiving anything back. And so it's off balance. So you've pulled back your energy and they feel it. They're in their feelings about it. They don't like the fact that you are not so attentive anymore. They're acting like they're okay with your not being attentive, but they are far from okay about it. And so this is about balance, harmony, patience, self-control, and moderation is what they are picking up from you. And I feel like they're saying that you really have the nerve to not cater to them. And it's really because they're living out of their ego, you know? They feel like it's kind of like they feel entitled to your text, your calls, your response, your attention. And you have here the white sage, the protector. So with the white sage and protector energy, I am picking up here number three that... You are an old soul and your best friend is nature. So get out into nature, go walk, breathe fresh air, you know, take a, a nice, you know, sit out in a nice sunset. If you have a window where you can see the moon at night, or if you can walk out on your patio, stand out in the night you know, and get that moonlight energy as well. Because your best friend is nature, walking out in nature, enjoying nature, exercising. And so spirit is encouraging you now to trust your intuition and use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you because you're meant to create blessings with your magic. Let's get more insight. The energy as it does relate. You have here the number 10. The number 10 is significant either in your birthday, birth month, or birth year, or this person's on your mind. The 10th house represents your career. 
It also represents fame. So I can definitely see here that you have a strong propensity to be famous, uh, career, public image, and your legacy. This is something, this is how this person views you as well as being someone uh, like you could be famous, you have great competence, you're able to achieve whatever you set your mind to, and you're going to build a huge legacy. You know, and you are always wondering like, what is my purpose? You always have your purpose. Remember that because your purpose is you. This is the, this is the, like you're, you're a patriarch of a, of a huge empire. So continue to work towards your goals, stay creative, you know, and this person sees this in you. You may not see this so clearly in yourself, or maybe you do. And if you do stay clearly on that path of courage here, stay here, self-confidence, self-love, self, self strength, stay there. Because you're very powerful. Your reputation here. Something to do with your reputation is coming through quite clear. And how this person feels about your reputation. Or something to do with your reputation. You have here the imprints. This is it. Look at this. Imprints along with the tentacle. House is quite significant. So with the imprints along with the tenth house... This is abundance, good parenting, person sees you as a good parent. Fertility is quite strong and quite clear. So if you are wanting to get pregnant or not wanting to get pregnant, fertility energy is strong here with the inference card. And abundance and creation, creativity, making things you know, from your gifts, your talents, your goals. I see a high vibration of frequency around you and your creativity and the things that your heart desires. And the universe is conspiring for your good. Beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.